funny anecdote about Dan is that he has such a big booming voice and so we always joke that he never needs a microphone and if he does need one that it must be a big crowd um, but more of an inspirational story is so we are building a new building for the Wasmus Center and when the old building was um, we had to move out of it and the staff had to move into a temporary location and Dan and his wife spent uh, Thanksgiving weekend cleaning and painting and organizing the new space so that the staff could come in that following week and, and have a good place to work and I think that reflects the tireless service that Dan has given to the center. He has poured his heart and soul and blood and sweat and tears and into growing it into what it is today and I just think that's a great example of that. Uh, I've known Dan for about 10 years. Uh, we got introduced when I had just moved back to Boise and was invited uh, to a cocktail party at a neighbor's house. Um, I think Dan embodies the spirit of hospitality fundamentally because he's a teacher at heart. Uh, Dan loves to teach people the golden rule and how we should treat each other as human beings. Uh, I don't think that the position that he served in at the center could have been more well suited to somebody than it was to Dan Prinzing. He, uh, he guided us in really the creation of the mission uh, of how we educate for uh, human rights and, and, and how people should treat each other uh, with that golden rule in mind. And um, when you think about how we want to project our hospitality to people who come to our state or even people who uh, have been living here for a while, it's all about how we treat each other. Um, it's about um, the fact that we should be having discussions instead of uh, arguments. And I think Dan has always embodied that spirit and he just enjoys being in that teacher role more than anything and he's done a great job. So I've been on the Wasmuth board since 2018, so that's when I really got to know Dan and it's just been such an honor and pleasure to serve with him and have a front row seat into seeing all the amazing things that he's done for the center. So I really think the Wasmuth Center and the Anne Frank Memorial represent the welcoming nature of Boise and our state and Dan has been the face of that for so many years and has always represented what is best about humanity in our state. And I would say even when some challenging things have happened, like the defacing at the memorial, he's really stepped up and again represented what's best about us rather than you know some of the things that give Idaho a negative reputation. I've known Dan for eight and a half years working here with him at the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights. Well, we've always called Dan the host with the most because he is so welcoming with his language and his personality. It makes people feel at ease and really um, with his history, knowledge and his passion for human rights really makes people at ease and telling the story about the memorial and the center that he does. He's a, been a fantastic host. Dan, Dr. Prinzing, in just his, his totality is an inspiring person, right? And so overall, like we've worked together either off the cuff or um, with the Boise Police Department. We both speak at the uh, graduations that we do at the um, Anne Frank Memorial. And that's always, he always has something inspirational to say, inspiration to add, but we've done it for so long that any one story just doesn't stand out. And uh, Dr. Prinzing is a great guy. I think that he, um, embodies this notion of people need to get actively engaged in the fix as opposed to just lecturing, preaching, or, or, or grandstanding and um, apply solutions to a given problem as opposed to just uh, pointing out there is a problem. Uh, there's a lot of moments of inspiration when you're working in human rights with Dan. Uh, one thought that I always go back to is uh, an event that most everyone will remember a few years back in 2020 when uh, the Idaho and Frank Memorial was defaced with uh, swastika stickers that claimed we are everywhere. And um, what I really admired about Dan and what really inspired me at the time was that uh, he really helped kind of coin a phrase and offer uh, or offered to us all that um, that really if anyone is everywhere it is the good people of Idaho who really want to stand up to hate and um, and and really find constructive ways of resolving our differences versus um, you know 
doing hateful acts. And, and I think that Dan really hit the nail on the head back at that time. I found that very inspirational. Congratulations, Dan. I know all of the teachers in Idaho appreciate everything that you've done and shared with them over the years to help us incorporate human rights education into our practice. Thanks so much and congratulations. Congratulations, Dan. Uh, very proud of you for winning this award. It is very well uh, deserved and earned on your part. Um, it's an award for hospitality, so I think that's really interesting because it does connect human rights uh, and you are the person who taught me how that how that connects. Um, you are very welcoming and you welcomed me not only into the memorial, into the Wasmo Center, uh, but you introduced me to human rights here in Boise, Idaho for the first time and that has meant a lot to me. It's changed my life, so thank you. Uh, Dr. Prinzing, I, I can't think of anybody else who's more fitting of such a reward. Uh, I look forward to us working together in the future and uh, I hope you continue to reside in Boise, Idaho. For Dan, uh, I think that most of us would think back to a favorite teacher that we had in our lives, somebody who inspired us and, and um, delivered great meaning to our existence. And, and um, I'm just an old guy nowadays, but uh, I think my favorite teacher was you. You know, the past 10 years that we spent working together uh, at the, at the Wasma Center and, and um, you know, kind of pursuing this, this very important and special mission for our state and for our community. Uh, I felt that I've um, had the benefit of learning uh, a lot of wonderful lessons and being reminded of a lot of wonderful lessons uh, from you uh, in your calm and uh, you know, pragmatic way of, of, uh, of delivering um, what, what really we should all be thinking about in terms of how we behave toward each other and being willing to have open conversations and discussions, it, even with people that we maybe disagree with. Uh, I think that those are wonderful lessons and, and uh, I wish you the best of luck in your retirement and the days ahead. And uh, I wanted to thank you for all that you contributed to the building of this magnificent entity, the Wiseman Center for Human Rights. Congratulations on uh, this award, the Rose Award. It's much deserved and wish you the best in the future. Come visit. Well, Dan, I want to tell you that you have absolutely earned the right to enjoy life and relax. And I hope that you take the opportunity to do that now. And that as you reflect on your career, that you feel incredibly proud for the legacy that you're leaving. You have truly brought the Wasm Center to this point in time where we're poised to grow even further. And I just commit to you that we're gonna carry that work forward in your honor. Hi Dan, congratulations on this award. It really is a testament to all the ways that you have worked so hard to keep human rights at the center of our community and ultimately to leave it as a more welcoming community for all. So congratulations. Hi Dan, just wanted to wish you congratulations on this well-deserved honor. You have made a tremendous impact on this community and our organization in particular has been extremely grateful for all that you've done for us. Every single time we've brought a group to town and called upon you to come to speak to them, the answer has always been yes. And for that, we're full of gratitude. So on behalf of the entire board of directors and the team at Visit Boise, congratulations. <laughs>